Good morning everyone and welcome to the beautiful Kent countryside because today the vines in the background don't give it away I'm here at Turlingham Vineyard for one of their wine tours Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. And this is beautiful. Oh, thank glorious. you. Hi. <gasps> Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hello. So, these are my sisters, Caroline and Ashley. Hello. So you're a family run business? We are. So awesome. Yeah, we're three sisters. We're a small boutique vineyard. Uh, we only have about five and a half thousand vines. And yeah, completely run and managed by the family. So today we'll show you in our cellar and show you where we store all our beautiful wines. And then we'll go down to the vineyard and tell you how we grow our grapes and uh, as Caroline mentioned we're very small and what makes us special is we're a natural vineyard and okay. we care a lot about being a natural vineyard yeah. so we will talk a lot probably about natural wine and natural farming and then so. after all the talking we'll make sure that you actually get to drink some of the wine as well so <gasps> then we'll go into a tasting and yep. then uh, you'll have the cheese boards which accompany the tasting as well so thank I you. like the sound of that It's a small little boutique vineyard, but they absolutely love what they do. And it's all about sharing that passion with everyone on the tour. It sounds like taking a really natural approach is a key part of what they do here at Turlingham. Who knew that all wine wasn't necessarily vegan? Sounds like they put a lot of extra work hand turning the bottles, hand <laughs> working through taking the yeast out. So I'm really looking forward to trying it and seeing what, what the difference is that we get when we do it in this more traditional way. It is incredible to think that I'm just 10 minutes away from home, yet this place feels so tranquil and calm. You can hear the birds, you can watch the butterflies, can I just stay here the whole afternoon? Okay, everyone's drifting over to the marquee. I think it's time to go taste some wine. Thank you, grapes. <laughs> Very crisp. Mm, it's really good. Toes, elderflower, floral, definitely elderflower. Sparkling wine this time, number two. Mm, definitely lots of sherbet. Thank you. Of Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm, it's very different. I don't know much about wine, but I just know it tastes good, so that's good enough, right? Clearly, the wine tasting has gone down well. Empty glasses all round. You may wonder why I'm lying on the ground right now. No, I have not drunk too much wine, I promise. It's to show you all these beautiful little flowers. Those are buttercups, beautiful pink flowers. Because they do it all in the natural way, there's no pesticides, herbicides, all that sort of stuff. It means they have loads of fauna and flora, loads of wildlife, spiders, butterflies, all this sort of stuff that love this habitat. As you can probably see behind me, everyone is now enjoying their cheese board with their favorite selected wine. It was a tough call. Loads of them have won awards and they're all just wonderfully natural and real. It feels great to go back to nature really and in such a beautiful location. I couldn't really have asked for more and right on my doorstep just outside Folkestone. It's incredible really. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go enjoy my wine now and I'll see you next time. <laughs>